welcome everybody. Rain to replay back, 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 back. At it again. The Minnesota Vikings welcome in the Baltimore Ravens. This is the second time the team has faced this team this season, although there was a little problem with the SSN's video retention and uh, the broadcast was lost. Oh boy, oh my heavens, what an what an L taken by the SSN on that one. But uh, we do appreciate you tuning in here early Sunday Night Football Vikings hosting the Ravens. It is a purple battle here this evening. Going to go take a look at the injury report like we normally do for both teams. For Minnesota, Jordan Hicks still out one more week with that dislocated knee. We do get rookie Jaqueline Roy back. For the Raiders game, he had a pretty good game, all things considered, and uh, he's looking to get into more of a starting role here this game. Uh, Minnesota native Rashad Bateman, in terms of collegiate play, uh, is out one week with a pulled groin. Ouch. And then Greg Rousseau, uh, dominant left end, out two weeks with that dislocated hip. Oh, my heavens. So the Minnesota Vikings will not have to deal with Gregory Rousseau. Um, still a good defense here. And uh, this should be a good game, of course, going up against Jair Alexander. Both teams atop of their respective divisions and atop their respective conferences, if I'm not mistaken. This has been Randy Replay. <laughs> Kickoff Sunday Night Football is next. And hello and welcome, Sunday Night Football here, primetime Minneapolis, Minnesota, U.S. Bank Stadium. Beautiful U.S. Bank Stadium playing host, truncated broadcast, no specialties. We will get you back here at the main screen for post-game stats, no halftime stats here as well. Tyler Harrell back to receive the kick by Stout. Boom, we are underway here. And Harrell with a, a very rare wave. And Minnesota will start out with the football. Apparently no um, no stats for Patrick Mahomes, who starts out this game in the gun. He waits the snap. He gets it. Throws for a wide open Smith and Jingba across the middle, down to the 50. So Patrick Mahomes to Smith and Jigba to start the game. 25 yards through the middle. And he threw it right over that lurking defender. So Minnesota coming out of the gate, throwing. Dalvin Cook, number one uh, running back in terms of yardage. And down goes Mahomes. Queen on the sack. Did not fool anybody. This team was highly scouted there. My heavens, what a play. So Queen, untouched, did not even flinch. And went straight for Mahomes. So there you have it. Second and 19 now for Minnesota under center. And down goes Mahomes again. And this time it's Highsmith. So after the explosive first play, Minnesota two sacks back to back. Ravens are bringing the pressure in. This offensive line cannot hold up to it. And now we'll see what you do. Third and 25. Mahomes from the gun gets the snap. Throws. Caught in Jigba, first down Vikings. And it's Jackson Smith in Jigba. Two catches, and he does a backflip. Oh my gosh. So Mahomes working the middle of the field, which is highly contested usually for this team. And uh, to much success. Dalvin Cook, first carry in the game, not gonna go anywhere. Oh boy. So Dalvin Cook. League leader in terms of rushing, entering play today. One carry, no yards. Mahomes from the gun. Let's we'll see what he wants to do here. Weird snap is corralled. It's a throw middle. Caught Adam Thielen for the first down. And Mahomes will take him no huddle. So Mahomes takes him no huddle. It's a run, Dalvin, run up the middle. He could not get away from the defender. And my goodness, he had open field running ahead of him. You got to get some separation there. If you're Dalvin Cook, you got to get up there. So Mahomes from the gun here. The snap is corralled. 
It's a throw middle for TJ Hawkinson down to the 12. And Mahomes four for four to start the game. Stomps the right leg awaiting the ball from the gun. The snap is corralled. It's a give to Dalvin. Dalvin looking for space left side. Not going to get much. He'll get about three yards, and that'll make it second and seven for Minnesota, going with some tempo and then slowing it down back to back. Uh, big plays here to get first downs for this team. Mahomes now from the gun. Snap is corralled. Looks left, throws left. Caught. JJ, six yards, no first down. And now, Minnesota, you go back to the drawing board on third and one. JJ with the catch. Now, Mahomes under center. Gets a snap, quick throw, caught JJ. We get a gritty from the Twin Cities. So Minnesota will score on their first drive, use, utilizing plays that they have all season, and this to make it a 7-0 game. Snap spot kick is away. It's good. 10-54 left to go here in the first. So the 11 play, 75-yard extended drive ends in a touchdown. Minnesota gives up two sacks and about 20 yards, and... Uh, their offensive line, I should say. Another touchback for Greg Joseph, but they bounce back. So now let's see what the Minnesota Vikings can do defensively with their first drive. And uh, hopefully going to get a sack here today. We'll see. There's a handoff. And that will be Booth Jr. will bring down Dobbins. Actually, Javon Holland, rather. I do apologize. Okay. Literally can't pick a play. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, Desmond Ritter from the gun. Troy Dye will check in defensively. It's a run to Dobbins again. Multiple Vikings will bring him down. Troy Dye, one of those guys. And now some tempo for the Ravens. No huddle. Ritter, gun, give. Dobbins, Dobbins runs into his own guy. They will, well, they'll give him the first down. Okay. So they will give him the first down. Minnesota going cover three, as you see by the previous play stats. Brought to you by AWS. Make sure you sign them up for your business needs. And Ritter from the pistol gets the snap. Looking. And it is a catch. Right side. Oh my heavens. Cole Komet with the big comeback. Oh, what's up, chap? What up, dude? What up, brother? And that will bring up a first and 10 for the Ravens. Ritter from the center. Under center gets the snap. Looks, throws, and it is another catch against Trayvon Diggs. That is Jamar Chase, one member of the Gritty Gang here this this year making another catch. Ritter, shotgun, give us Dobbins, Dobbins, carry. And they will stop him just short of the line to gain. And we'll see what Minnesota wants to do here. <clears throat> um, It's in the settings. Yeah, it's in the settings. He's got to look for it. I'm not sure how I did it. <laughs> So, I formation for the Ravens. Dobbins the back. Tries to get him to jump. That rarely ever works. Dobbins with the catch. It's a fumble picked up by Lewis Seen. And it is a Siaki Ika. Ika, rather, with the fumble force. Big hitting defense. Lewis Seen with the recovery. 42 yarder for Greg Joseph. Looks like right hash. Greg Joseph. Snap spot. Kick is away. Runs into the kicker. We got a flag. We'll get a fresh set. So the Vikings will get a fresh set. Oh, downs. Thanks to roughing the kicker being the call here. Mahomes now from the gun. The snap is corralled. It's a throw. Left side in Jigba. Touchdown, Minnesota. Jackson Smith and Jigba left side using JJ as bait to draw the double coverage. And Jigba will now have his third touchdown of the year. This to make it 14 nothing. Kick is away. It's good. Ritter will change the play at the line of scrimmage. He's good at doing this. Owen Papo will check in. Ritter throws. 
And it is caught for a touchdown. Trayvon cannot get to the point of attack. And that will be a first touchdown for the Ravens here today. And so 14 to seven, uh, seven pending the kick. The snap spot kick is away. It's good. So here we go. Minnesota third and two. Mahomes under center. Gets the snap. Drops back. Floats one in. High ball for JJ. Still gets it. And JJ will be down to the 33. Field goal opportunity. Wants a flag. Not going to get it. Just to make it 17 to 7. 47 yarder left hash. We've seen Greg miss a couple of these here this, this year. It's not a block. The kick is away. It's good. Although a good jump here by the Ravens. Both times that Greg Joseph has kicked a field goal, it's been a perfect jump by the Ravens. So Greg Joseph, one of the better legs in the NFL. This is a very returnable kick, but it will be waved down for a touchback. We got three seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Minnesota will get the ball back. Um, hopefully here, but uh, the other side of the, uh, the second half, which is in a whole nother quarter. I don't know what I'm talking about. And Ritter will throw it away left side. And that's the end of one. So at the end of one, 17 to seven, Minnesota, you put some uh, defensive pressure there, forcing the throw away. Ritter from the gun. The snap is corralled. Looking, throwing, middle of the field. Caught fumble. It is another fumble force. This time Javon Holland will pick it up and he will run it out of bounds and get into a shoving match. It is confirmed on the field, another fumble. And we'll see what happens here, Mahomes. Calling an audible. Throwing for TJ in the end zone. And just as he lets it rip, it is another batted ball. And uh, could have had TJ for a touchdown. He was coming back. 29-yard field goal attempt. Left hash instead. Kick is away. It's good. 20-7 Minnesota. Minnesota's moving a couple pieces around here late. It's a, it's a give to Dobbins. Fumble! Oh my heavens, and Tyson Campbell with the first opportunity to score in purple. Another fumble coming across. Tyson Campbell will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Uh, Tyson Campbell will score his first touchdown in purple. And oh my heavens, what is going on here? A snap spot kick. Greg Joseph, 27 to 7, Minnesota. And now third and six. Minnesota playing press across the board like they usually do defensively. Ritter from the gun, third and medium. Minnesota will play off and then come back down. Ritter looking, sacked, no sack. He got the ball away. It was Daniil Hunter who made first contact. Andre Carter back there as well. This will hopefully get a punt off. Caleb Evans in fake punt formation. The punt is watched, the punt is real. And Tyler Harrell angles to his left near the 25-yard line. That is where this will be corralled. Tyler Harrell will speed right side. Tyler Harrell will gain the edge, and he'll get out of bounds just at the 31-yard line. Dalvin B. Cooking. Mahomes looking. Mahomes throwing. And it's picked. Murphy Jr. Under threw it to Adam Thielen. And uh, Murphy Jr. will get a pick. Oh boy. So third and three defensively. Ritter throws. Dropped. Whether it's Trayvon Diggs getting a hand in there or just a, a rare drop for Jamar. Either way. Oh boy. We get a great looking camera angle here. Fourth and three. Big field goal opportunity. Sneaks in right side. It's good. Right hash. The third and eight now. Minnesota, it's a run play. Dalvin, Dalvin will get the first down. So Dalvin gets the first down. And uh, that should do it here for the first half. Like we said, truncated broadcast. We will be right back with second half Vikings football. Minnesota will get the ball in three, two, and a one. He's hit from the logo earlier this season. Mahomes talking to the offensive line as he normally does. Gets the snap. Looking, throwing, wide open, J.J. right side. 
And he's going to get out of bounds in Justin Jefferson. I don't know how you let him that open. JJ with the catch in the first down right side. Mahomes stomps his left foot. JJ man in motion. It's that pesky end around to JJ. Sheds one tackle, takes a big hit. He'll get down to the 15. JJ. Oh, you go to the single back set. Got a bunch formation. Uh, Jelani Woods is the man in motion. Right to left. It's a turn. It's a give. Dalvin. Dalvin. Touchdown, Dalvin. Uh, so a touchdown, Dalvin Cook. Washes his hands. He's hot this season. And that will make the Vikings... Uh, give the Vikings 33 points. So number four... We'll give the Vikings a touchdown. And uh, it's kind of funny. He used to wear number 33. And with the extra point, it's a four at the end of the, the equation here. So 34-10 Vikings, three, uh, third quarter. 11-20 left to go. Minnesota. Okay. So Migo <laughs> doing a little running man on that beat. Overlay, over, 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 overlay, over, overdue. Over for a book. Oh, Lewis seen tripped. Lewis seen tripped early on in the route. And Dobbins will score. Dobbins will score off the Lewis seen trip. Oh no. And Dobbins will do a backflip and a roly poly oly. So the, the Ravens will score. Dobbins coming off that big run. He snap spot kick. It's good. 34-17 now. So as a complete body of work, tough running for Dalvin. Adam Thielen sent man in motion wide right now. It's a turn. It's a gift to Dalvin. Dalvin! Touchdown again! Dalvin stays on his feet. One of the best at breaking tackles. His second of the night. 100 plus for Dalvin Cook. This to put him up 41-17. Snap spot kick. He's good. Oh boy, what a game for the Vikings. Andrew Voorhees goes to the Ravens. <laughs> Jason's brother. IRL. Wow. We're, we're getting down to the bottom of the seventh in the IRL NFL draft. I know that name, Jason Voorhees, or uh, Andrew Voorhees. All right, so for Minnesota, Ritter from the gun. The snap is corralled, looking, throwing, picked Javon Holland. So Javon Holland will give the ball back to his team. He'll drink the tea, and Minnesota gets the ball back plus territory. Mahomes from the gun. Cook to his right. Give to Cook. Cook angles middle. Cook. Oh, they're going to let him score. They do. Another touchdown. Minnesota Grady Jarrett will go down. Oh no. So Dalvin Cook with his third touchdown, second of this quarter. And they let Minnesota score. Kick is away. It's good. 48 to 17 now. Caught. It was it was caught. Ritter wants the fans. Boo! Ritter wants the fans to be quiet. Ritter gets the snap. There's booing coming down from the heavens of U.S. Bank Stadium. Asamoah on the tackle right side, Jamar Chase. Minnesota showing blitz across the board. They bring the pressure. Big hit fumble. Oh, no. Asamoah on the recovery. And Harrison Phillips will cough up the ball again. Or Harrison Phillips will cause another cough up the gun. Snap Corral. Throw. Left side picked. Oh, boy. Going for Njigba, and it's picked off. Lamar. Or not Lamar, oh my god. And it's picked. Tyson Campbell with a pick. Uh, uh, Desmond Ritter throws middle, left side, and uh, it's picked. Tyson Campbell gets in the turnover category again. Mahomes from the gun, turns, gives. Dalvin, Dalvin weaving, Dalvin to the other side of the 50 down to the 39 we still have a whole nother quarter of football ladies and gents but uh dalvin be cooking here 
today. Mahomes from the gun. They snap corral. Given Dalvin slips a tackle, trying to get out of another. He'll carry a defender one yard. Get him to jump. Not going to work. Mahomes. Oh, it's picked. Kyle Hamilton. So Kyle Hamilton with the pick. And he will go for six. So don't call it a comeback. Oh, boy. Just to make it 30, uh, uh, 40 to 30 now. Snap spot kick is good. In Jigba, 11 catches, 149 and a touchdown. Mahomes. Give to Dalvin. Dalvin. Trying not to score his cook. He will get down to the one. Trying not to score is Dalvin. Jalen Carter on the tackle. You think a score here would put this thing away? There's your dagger. We'll see, though. Dalvin, fourth touchdown of the game. And Dalvin's doing the stanky leg. This to make it 55-30. to 30. A snap spot kick. No block this time. It's good. J.K. Dobbins on the catch. Throws? Caught. Now, I don't know how you play that any better if you're if you're a Tamble. He's right there. Let's go. And now Minnesota, you're you're giving up some yardage here. It is garbage time. You will walk away with the victory, but throws right side. Caught. Ritter. Right side. Garbage time yards. It's all good, Minnesota. Evan Duvernay on the catch. Man, that'll bring him down to the two. 154 left to play in regulation. Ritter from the gun. Snap corral. Give us to Dobbins. Dobbins meets a wall that's named Eric Kendricks and Brian Asamoa. So Eric Kendricks, the NFL's comeback player of the year in Randy Replay's eyes. Mm. Mm, having a hell of a game. And a hell of a season after coming back from injury. Ritter across. Touchdown, Ravens. Ritter with the QB sneak. He will give his team a touchdown, Ravens. Going to go for two. Why not? Going for two are the Ravens. Two-point conversion. Ritter from the gun. Split back. Give us to Dobbins. Dobbins will not get there. There is uh, DJ Wanham. <coughs> Minnesota playing. <laughs> Minnesota playing onside recover. They got the hands team out there. It will go by way of JJ. Now, Minnesota, you just get a couple first downs and get out of this thing with the win. You go back home and stay home. You just keep doing what you're doing. Nine and two operation. Number one seed in the NFC. You get a, hopefully get a win. Not only that, you get two games of separation in your division. Now, interesting. Timeout being taken by the Ravens. So they're forcing Minnesota's hand here. Um, they will not be able to win the game on this drive. They will have to get a uh, first down if they want to do such a thing and my goodness that number six for the ravens able to come back into the backfield at will here this evening so it's third and 11. now what you're aiming to do here is to just make it a little bit easier for greg joseph you don't need a bang bang wang bang thank you ming play mahomes from the shotgun split back quick throw adam thielen adam thielen able to get the first down and that should just about do it. Adam Thielen first down. Minnesota Vikings. Oh, there's the Baru. It's a little late here on that play. So Adam Thielen and Joseph for the Ravens. That number six guy just having a hell of a day. Dalvin Cook up the middle. Just going to get the first down and there is or should be the end of the game with that one. Patrick Mahomes, all you got to do is take a knee, and this one is over. So be sure to count it down with me, everybody. Minnesota Vikings football is brought to you by the SSN, Connecticut Water, and Equinox Wireless.
With this snap, we can start the countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Minnesota Vikings get a victory. Well, hello and welcome back into the main screen. Minnesota victorious here today and uh, over the Ravens at home. Uh, we'll get you into these player stats. And we'll get you out of here and get you back to the main screen and preview the playoff bracket if the players, yeah, playoffs rather, were to start here today. Patrick Mahomes with a 92.5 QB rating. He was 33 of 43. That is 76% completion percentage. For those of you that didn't want to do math, or simply didn't look over here. Uh, 413 yards, and for the first time this season, he has more interceptions than touchdowns. So Patrick Mahomes breaking a little streak there. Or having a streak broken, either one. Uh, Davin Cook uh, was leaned on heavily here in the second half. And this is way too many carries for a back um, in today's NFL. Don't expect to see Dalvin Cook next game. I mean, oh boy, he's got a full day's worth of work times two here. 52 carries, 270, and four touchdowns. Uh, numbers don't look good, but it was, uh, it was, a, it was a, the first half was a, a tough running for Dalvin here today. Jackson Smith and Jigba two for two off the pesky end around. CJ Ham one carry, no yards. JJ one for five on the end around. And then Patrick Mahomes had a kneel down there to uh, end the game. Uh, in the receiving game, again, back-to-back -back games, Jackson Smith and Jigba ruling the day for the Minnesota Vikings. 11 catches, 149, and a touchdown. So the <clears throat> the team's number one overall pick, uh, well, first-round pick, I should say, uh, from last season, paying dividends here in the later half as uh, K.J. Osborne's departure led uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba to the center stage, and my goodness, is he performing. Uh, JJ, 10 for 141 in it, really. Uh, Dalvin Cook, 6 for 53. TJ Hawkinson, 3 for 31. And Adam Thielen on a slide here, 3 for 39. So, uh, Njigba shining over Thielen. Oh, boy. Uh, nobody. Nobody. Hmm. We mean nobody cares about blocking. Going to go to defense, look at total tackles. And the Minnesota Vikings have a double-double. Lewis Seen with 11, the NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Eric Hendricks with 10. Javon Holland with seven, Jalen Johnson with five, Campbell and Die with four, Asamoah and Phillips with three, Papo, Carter, and Diggs with two. Tackles for loss, we had five, uh, six rather, by Kendricks, Asamoah, Phillips, Ika, good to call his name here, getting involved in today's uh, game, or tonight's game rather, Lewis Seen with one, and Troy Die with one as well. No QB sacks, although there were some pressures by Daniil Hunter and uh, Andre Carter and Jaqueline Roy in this one. No QB sacks for your Minnesota Vikings. Two picks. Tyson Campbell, his first pick. <clears throat> Excuse me, in purple. And then Javon Holland continues his um, good stat line with a pick here today. Uh, Trayvon Diggs also had one in the end zone, but it, it was on a two-point conversion, so it will not stand as a pick. Uh, pass deflections, we had three. Uh, four, rather. Tyson Campbell with two. Harrison Phillips and Lewis Seen with one. Uh, four force fumbles. Tyson Campbell, Brian Osamoa, Lewis Seen, and Javon Holland. Oh, wait. <laughs> four force fumbles. Eric Hendricks, Jalen Johnson, Harrison Phillips, and Siaki Ika. Um, coughing up the balls for the Vikings, all recovered by Minnesota by Tyson Campbell, Osamoa, Seen, and Holland. Uh, no safeties, no block kicks, although the Ravens blocked one of ours, bringing it back for six. And uh, one defensive touchdown, Tyson Campbell of the pick, I want to say. Maybe it was a scoop and score. Either way, um, Greg Joseph, 
two for three on extra on uh, field goals. He had that one block longest of 47. And then seven for seven on extra points. Ryan Wright, easy day for the big punter. One punt, a 47 netting 45. Um, Yeah, Minnesota, you, you're playing better defensively as the season goes on. And that is what we need especially when it comes for the playoff push. We're going to get you back to the main screen. We will preview the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, before we do breaking news out of Baltimore, the Grady is, uh, not going to be held out for any specific amount of time. He was only held out this game. So Grady Jarrett, who went down early there in the third quarter, not going to be held out for any significant amount of time, which is good as the Ravens make a playoff push as well. Both of these teams, I got a feeling this isn't the last time we're going to see these two teams. We uh, we now split the bill. They uh, they won in their house in the preseason. Of course, that footage has been deleted. And uh, we win here in our house, U.S. Bank Stadium. The proceeding was a presentation of the NFL on the SSN. Any rebroadcast, reusage, or redistribution of said broadcast is strictly prohibited without the express ring consent of the NFL, the SS, and any of its subsidiaries. We're going to get you back to the main screen, preview the playoff bracket, and uh, this has been Randy Replay. I will see you in just a minute. And uh, hello and welcome back uh, to the main screen. Randy Replay's third favorite time of the year. The uh, playoff picture is available, and we'll be diving into everything NFC and AFC in terms of if the playoffs were to start today. But first, weekly awards to give out. We're going to figure out what's going on. Well, no surprise, Dalvin Cook. 270 in four touchdown performance will net him the AFC offensive player of the week, despite doing it in 52 carries. Well, you don't really know how you uh, measure that kind of success with that many carries, but um, either way, uh, Xavier Collins, I do believe that's his name. 14 tackles, two sacks and one pick will net him the NFC defensive player of the week. Josh Allen will be the AFC offensive player of the week. Three touchdowns. Uh, thrown in two touchdowns rushed for my heavens the bills bringing it together here towards the end of the season and then Kyle uh, Kyle Hamilton with the uh, scoop and score off the uh, blocked kick and then the pick six and 14 tackles will uh, Wowzers will get him the AFC defensive player of the week um in terms of what's next for the Vikings now with the Packers losing to the Broncos and the Vikings beating the Ravens, we now have a comfortable two-game lead in the NFC North Division and could wrap this thing up week 15, pending any weirdness. The next three games are very important and are all divisional matchups. So the NFC North could be on the line here week 15 as uh, we are at home again. A lot of home games this year for the Vikings. <laughs> against the Motor City Kitties, uh, traveling from Ford Field. That is the Kitty Litter Box. And then we're away in Chicago, and then we're back home in Green Bay for Week 15, and then three games on the road to end the campaign. So Minnesota, reigning defending NFC North champions, will have a chance to put the Packers away and uh, seal up the division Week 15, unless the Packers lose next week and we win um, <clears throat> against Chicago. Well, the Packers, I mean, lose next two weeks. But now let's get to the moment we've all been waiting for. The playoff picture is available, and if the playoffs were to start today, on the AFC side, the Ravens would be the number five seed. Kansas City Chiefs would be a number four seed, so we get that rematch of a game not too many weeks ago. <clears throat> the uh, Browns would be the sixth seed. Jaguars would be the third. Lamar Jackson led Texans would be the seven. And then uh, the Bills would be the two. And the Bengals will draw the number one seed in the AFC. For the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings, your Minnesota Vikings, number one seed holder as it sits now. Uh, the Giants would be the seven. The Eagles would be the six. The Packers would be the five. Oh, boy. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Cardinals would be the fourth. The Falcons would be the third. And then the Commanders or the Commanders would be the two if the playoffs were to start here today. So, <clears throat> Minnesota, two games up in the division. 
and we're going to see how they fare in the NFC as a total. They are the best team in football with a 9-2 record on a three-game win streak. Uh, the Bengals would be the second seed, uh, a second overall, should say, um, with an 8-3 and three record tied, of course, with the Bills and Jags. Commanders, Packers, Ravens, Chiefs, Browns, Falcons, Eagles, and Texans all have a 7-5 and five record. So that makes things interesting on both sides of the conferences. Uh, with the Bengals, Bills, and Jags tied in Week 13. With five games left to go. Oh my heavens, it's going to get crazy over there in the AFC. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teams vying for these seven spots. Uh, three teams are going to be held out and are going to be uh, <laughs> very, very brought down to earth here on the AFC side. So it looks right now seven wins and you're in. In the AFC and then in the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings, of course, two game lead. And it's going to be six wins and you're in in the NFC. Pending any weirdness, of course, with your divisional matchups. Um, Commanders, Fal uh, Falcons and Packers all at seven and four and seven and five. Then, of course, you get these uh, Giants, Cardinals, Saints, Lions and Panthers. All at six and five and six and six. So six and five, you're going to stay alive in the playoffs. Um, this has been Randy Replay. I do believe that is everything. Once again, your Minnesota Vikings victorious here in what the kids would call a hashtag. You lose your game. And uh, they take care of the Ravens. Climb to nine and two. Get the number one seed in the playoff picture. And uh, two game lead over the Packers. You love to see it. Ow. I just hit my microphone. We'll get a brew as Randy Replay signing off. I will see you in the next one.